Hello Bricksmarties, Bricksmarty here. So today I'd like to introduce my Avatar The Way of Water LEGO MOC series. I love this movie and I've been getting excited ever since the first trailer was released and this is where I got most of the inspiration for the sea creatures in this series from. Let's kick off with my edited compilation of the parts of the trailers that feature these creatures. I also noticed that LEGO plans to release some Avatar 2 official sets, coming out in early January 2023. There's LEGO Pyacan the Tulkan and Crab Suit, that retails for $89.99 in the UK, the LEGO Illu Discovery, that retails for $19.99, and the LEGO Skimwing Adventure for $29.99. There's also some figures from McFarlane Toys. Their radio-controlled swimming Akula was particularly helpful as I couldn't find much else online about this beast. I also bought the Avatar The Way of Water Visual Dictionary book, a beautiful book but didn't add much more in terms of choice of MOCs I wanted to build, and nothing about the Akula or Nalutza. So there are options for you there, but if you want to build some MOCs using some LEGO 31088 sets right now, then let's take a look at what I've got for you. My Avatar The Way of Water LEGO MOC series features six original MOC alternates of the LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures set, and is part 15 in my Deep Sea Creatures series. This series is by far the most popular one I've posted, so I'll keep going as long as I can keep thinking up enough ideas. The LEGO Deep Sea Creatures set only has 230 pieces, so as the size and complexity of the models grow, so does the number of sets needed. So most of the MOCs in this series use not one, not two, but three Deep Sea Creatures sets, with the exception of the Pincerfish that uses just two. Before I get any further into this, I would like to thank everyone who's subscribed and for getting involved with all your comments and suggestions. Please keep them coming. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Bricksmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new LEGO MOCs. And a special thank you to those of you who head over to Rebrickable and buy some of my lovingly created instructions on there. And a super thank you to those of you who click the super thanks button below this video and make a small contribution that way. And if you've got suggestions for part 16 in the Deep Sea Creatures series, part 3 in the Majestic Tiger series, or any of my other series, please let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram and get sneak peeks of what I'm working on right now. OK, let's get back to the Avatar The Way of Water MOCs. The six MOCs in the series are the Nalutza, the Akula, the Illu, the Skimwing, the Tulkan, and the Pincerfish. Don't miss this amazing movie, and when you've seen it, have fun building some of the sea creatures of Pandora. There's one other model, the Turtipede, that also comes from the Pandoran moon, but wasn't featured in the movie. I've not included it for this reason, but just let me know if you'd like to see the build for this model in due course. Also coming up later in the video is the digital build for the Pincerfish. So if you have two LEGO 31088 deep sea creature sets, you can follow along with the video. Or come back later when you do. Or if you prefer to work from digital instructions that look like this, you can support me and buy them at rebrickable.com, just follow the link in the description below. So let's take a closer look at the Avatar The Way of Water MOCs. First up is Nalutza. The Nalutza is a shark-like behemoth that lives in the coastal waters of Pandora and can be seen leaping out of the water. The Nalutza is the tamer and less elusive cousin of the Akula. It can reach up to 40 metres in length 
and feeds by leaping out of the water to catch flying animals. The Nalutza is armoured and heavily built with no visible dorsal fin. It has two sets of whale-like flippers and a long tail. There's also interesting flared flanges at the sides of its head and extra hooked lateral teeth in the upper jaw. I've used three LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets to do justice to the size and all of these details and I'm really pleased with how it came out. Next up is the Akula. The Akula is a Pandoran shark-like ocean animal also featured in Avatar The Way of Water. It is a ferocious and more elusive cousin of the Nalutza. Prior to the release of the movie there were limited details about this beast online but there is a wonderful but very short clip of one in the movie trailer attacking a Navi who is defending himself with just a small knife. Now that I've seen the movie I won't spoil how this exciting scene concludes. Go watch the movie. The upper jaw appears to split into two so I've made that a feature of this model. The snout is more rounded than a shark. The dorsal fin is more triangular in cross section rather than a flat shark fin with interesting white markings and the distinctive front teeth look more like bony growths so I've made this a bit of a feature too. I've used three LEGO 31088 deep sea creature sets to create this model to do justice to its impressive size. Next is the Illu. The Illu is a graceful and friendly plesiosaur-like creature from Pandora featured in the movie. They are sleek and long-necked with six flippers and a rudder-like tail. An Illu can reach about 7 meters or 23 feet in length. Illu are intelligent, sociable and easily domesticated by the Navi. Illu have two pairs of eyes but the second pair are so tiny I've decided not to include in a model of this scale. They also have two long antenna-like neural whips which are used to connect their rider but again these are so long and thin there are no parts in the 31088 sets that look good representing these elements. Still I'm happy with the overall look. From the images I've seen the mouths look almost beak-like and the whole body is long and sleek. I see that Lego is releasing their own version that looks much chunkier and the mouth looks more reptilian. What do you think? Next up is the Skimwing. The Skimwing is an aquatic creature that also features in the movie. It is quite large and powerful and able to carry a fully grown Navi on its back. It has large fins and is able to fly above the water like a flying fish, keeping its powerful tail in the water to drive it forwards at speeds of up to 50 knots. It can also dive beneath the surface so the Navi can approach unseen and attack with the element of surprise. So hold on tight and hold your breath. The Skimwing features in some of the most impressive scenes in the movie with Jake Sully riding his into battle. I used parts from three 31088 deep sea creature sets to build this MOC. Look out for the build coming up in a future video. Next is the Tulkun. The Tulkun is a huge whale-like creature from Pandora that features heavily in the movie. Fully grown, a Tulkun can reach about 300 feet in length. The Tulkun are highly intelligent and are able to communicate with the Navi. They avoid violence and have adopted the Tulkun way, which forbids killing. Despite their huge size, they are able to swim relatively close to the coastline and can fully breach the water surface. They have multiple blowholes along their backs and four eyes. They also have two large, brightly coloured head crests that protrude from the end of their snouts. They have a split lower jaw, which I only noticed when I saw images of the upcoming official Lego set. But now that I've seen the movie, I can confirm this. I've used three LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creature sets to create this MOC. Do you think I should have used four or five? Lastly, we have the pincer fish. The pincer fish is native to the reefs of Pandora. The graceful pincer is a small predatory fish that is harmless to Navi, but can be quite dangerous to fish smaller than itself. It has a large, colourful monofin that propels the fish slowly through the water in a wave-like motion. It has two large bony tusks that are not only used to herd smaller prey towards its mouth, but are also perfect for jousting matches with other pincers to settle territorial disputes. I was keen to have at least one model in this series that only uses two LEGO 31088 sets, so I chose a smaller pincer fish for this purpose. It has an interesting vertical symmetry, and I've used brackets to create downward facing studs to build in upper and lower symmetry. I've also created a nice little stand for the model to rest on for display. Well, that's all the MOCs, let's take a look at the pincer fish build now. If you've got two LEGO 31088 sets, you can follow along with the video.
And that was the Pincerfish build. Look out for more LEGO 31088 Avatar The Way of Water digital builds over the coming weeks. If you can't wait, or if you'd rather work for instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com, just follow the link in the description below. And don't forget to look me up on Instagram for more good stuff and behind the scenes photos, and use the hashtag BritSmartWorkshop to tag your photos so I can see your creations. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why don't you give us a like or make a comment below? Click here if you'd like to see some more of the LEGO Deep Sea Creatures series, or here if you'd like to see some of my other LEGO Digital Creature builds. And don't forget to subscribe to BrickSmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new MOCs.